guys welcome back to my channel sorry about my um, husky voice I'm recovering from a cold but I thought I'd just uh, make a quick video just to get ready with me um, and share with you what I got for my birthday um, I've posted I posted a photo on Instagram of um, what I got I think it was Instagram and Facebook I think it was my personal Facebook but anyways um, I did post um, on Instagram of what I got but then I thought I'd just open them up, share them with you, and use them for my makeup today. So let's get started. Um so I'll start off with the foundation. Oops. Now, it's very important that this matches. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna to have to pick up a pump for this one. What I'm gonna do first though is I'm going to spray my face with um, Mario Badescu. Um, what is this? Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I transferred it to my Mac Fix Plus bottle because I hate I hate the spray nozzle on the Mario Badescu bottle. It is so, like it just spreads everywhere versus this is a little bit more concentrated. So I'm gonna start off by this. I am going to prime my face today with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primal. Just give it a good shake. Just taking that bunch and rubbing it between my fingers, warming it up. And this. I'm hoping can keep this bottle clean until I get a pump. I'm just gonna take it at the back, but like on the back of my hand. Somehow managed to squeeze that much out. We'll see how much we need. I'm just gonna use the bottle. I could literally just put it on my face. Alright. So I'm just going to start. I'm using um I think this is from gloss. So I'm just using that sponge. I'm loving the coverage, wow. And I think it is a pretty good match. Okay, so that's one layer. And I'm one of those who does not like my freckles being shown. And I, you can still see my freckles right here. Not so much on this side, but I don't think I have that many on that side anyways. Let me just zoom you guys in. Yeah, so see how you can still see that? So let's see if we can cover it up. And that's probably the only area where I think I would need a little bit extra coverage. I still have some left in my hands. So I'm just going to use that. I like it, it's making my skin feel, it's feeling good. I used up all the foundation that was in my hands. I think it matches my skin pretty well. And we're gonna leave that there, we're gonna go straight into the eyebrows. I'm using the Rimmel Brow This Way um, Duo, so that's the gel, that's the powder. Let me just quickly fill in my brows and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, eyebrows done. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I haven't powdered my face or anything yet just because I want the foundation to absorb. Plus I wanna f um, finish my eyes and then go in with my under eye concealer. So we're just gonna wait for that. Um, I feel like it, it's looking pretty matte where it doesn't need to be powdered. So I'm actually quite liking that. So I might even just get away with um, um, setting my under eyes in my T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily otherwise I'm pretty balanced everywhere else on my skin. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and prime, uh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Something like that, okay. Dropping stuff. So I'm just gonna use a brush like that. So it's just a concealer brush. I'm 
up in there before I set the eyes or anything. I'm going to see if there is a shade in there. Virgin, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that would be something I could use to set my eyes. Ooh, it's a little bit. Now the packaging. It's been said and done, but it's something that would get dirty quite a bit. So, anyways, we'd have to be careful with that. And comes with this is the first time I'm opening it actually, so it is a nice, nice size mirror I'd say. Covers your eyes pretty well, so I guess it's alright. And then comes with a little brush in there, and then that's just the palette. I haven't swatched it or anything yet. So I'm pretty excited. I'm just gonna go in with the Virgin, the first shade, and just set my primer. And I'm going to be using the so just going in with um Virgin, Ooh, fallout. I'm just going to coat my eyes. Okay, it has shimmer in it. Did not see that coming. It's got a little sheen to it. shade which is the third one in the palette so that one there it's blending really nicely quite love that look it's effortless Let's go into a deeper shade. Let's go into Buck. So that's that one there. Something like that. This is a bit ankled as well. So I'm just going to go into Buck. And I'm using the um, tip like that. I'm using it that way. sort of blend it. I was going back in with Naked and the first brush that we used and then just kind of blending out the top edges just so that we have a seamless Okay, I'm going in with this crease brush from Essence of Beauty. It's a bit more tightly packed, and I'm gonna go in with Dark Horse. So I'm basically just kind of working on the crease still. I'm gonna start with applying this in the inner the outer third of the eye. I'm just going to get the placement right and then I'm going to blend it into the crease. And there's another darker shade that I want to use to apply in the crease. So we're going to go with that. So the next shadow we're going in with is Creep. Uh, you know what, it's got a lot of... I feel like I can see glitter to it, so that's that shade there. Mm, you know what, no. Let me pull out a different palette. So I'm going to go in with my MAC in the shade palette, in the flash palette. And I'm going to start with um, that shade there, and then I'm going to follow it up with Carbon. It's the other shade. So that's Black Factor and that's Carbon. So I'm going to start with Black Factor. Using that same brush. Apply that in the outer part of the eye. So I'm guessing I'm going for a really bold smoky eye. 
that's what we're doing. This one I'm concentrating it mostly outside. nothing on it I'm just going to blend out the edges just lightly barely putting any pressure and then I'm going to go in with um, carbon so I'm taking that on the tip of the brush and just concentrating that literally in the outer corner like not even so much anywhere else just to get a little bit of this with my naked palette again I'm just gonna build up the green which was dark horse dark horse dark horse just in the crease here let's try smog which is that one there let me try swatch it Very bronzy color, not smog. I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it. Let's see how we go. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna brighten up the inner corner. deepen up a little bit in the outer corner but first I'm going to take I'm going to take this elf brush in defining eye brush it's an angled quite flat brush I'm going to take sin which is the second color in the palette I'm just going to put that in the inner corner just to brighten up there if it's messy right now because we're gonna clean it up with concealer we haven't done that yet going back in with carbon from that Intensify it. And I'm gonna pull it out. Dark horse. Getting 
that brush, it's a bit more pointy. And taking buck, I'm just going to blend edges. Taking my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in medium, number 25. Taking my MAC NC35 Studio Fix Powder and what am I going to take? Let's see, I'll just take the sponge. I've got the sponge from a different powder so I'm just going to use that to sort of set my under eye. this Trudy Fix powder and then just set my face slightly. I'm going in with my matte bronzer by MAC. So I remember where the bathroom is. Using that same brush, I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Exaggerate eyeliner and it is in 001 100% black. There we go. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Colossal Volume Express. Um, and I'm going to intensify my eyes a little bit more. I'm just going to use Smolder by MAC. Just tight line. Perfect way to complete this would be to add a really nice highlighter. And so I'm going to use, where is it? I'm going to use my Becca highlighter in Opal, which I absolutely love. I have the mini version of that one. I'm going to use this fan brush here. This is a really dense, dense, this is a really like loose highlighting brush. Beautifully. I know I didn't put any eyebrow highlight, but the first shade that I used was really intense, so it's kind of acting as a highlight right now, and I don't think I'm going to put another one on. So we're going to leave it at that, and then to complete off the look, I'm just going to use a really nude lipstick. I'm using uh, the Avon Lip Liner in Neutral. I just need to sharpen it. It's a nice pinky shade. I 
L'Oreal Fairest Nude. Alright, so I'm just going to use that to... It's a really nude color, like a... We're going to make it a little bit more pink. I'm going to use my um, Rimmel Moisture Renew Cream Lip Gloss in the color Purple Rescue. Alright guys, that's that marks the end of this video. I hope you guys had fun watching. I had so much fun filming and I loved my birthday goodies. Um, I'm loving the foundation. I feel like it's a good match, but I'm I'm gonna try it out in like a few different lightings and see. For now it looks like a good match. And I'm loving the finish. I'm loving how airbrushed it make it, it makes my skin look. Um so yeah. Stay tuned for an update on that one, or I might just put it down in the info bar. So anyways, I hope you guys had fun, and uh, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my video. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and yeah, if you have any requests or anything, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be very happy to come up with something creative. But yeah, so that is the finished look, guys. I will do just a quick... Turn around. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.